Okay guys, thanks for clicking on this video and Happy New Year. In this new video, we're going to dive deeper into the F35A version and B version. And we're going to start with the most complicated part and this is the landing gear. In this video, we're going to build the landing gear as close as scale as possible. Therefore, we're going to use the Formlabs resin printer. We're going to use the Bamboo Lab A1 for printing carbon parts. And we're going to use the brand new x 2 s one to laser cut our bulkhead plan. But before we go continue this video, did you already subscribe to our channel? So I got a task for you. Please hit that like button and this will really help to jump us to 100,000 subscribers one day. I still don't know how the algorithm works but it really do helps. So thank you for that. Let's jump into the video. Okay, here you can see an F-35 taking off. And as you see closely, you see those landing gears folding in. So what I've had, I found an, an illustration on the internet how it exactly works. So we're going to make it scale as possible. Here you got the example. So you got the drag brace with this folding and turning at the same time time all the how you say it angles there are on the 45 degree and that makes it that it will turn the wheel into the fuselage as you can see in this demonstration here in this model so next step is actually to implement it in our CAT model uh, most of the parts are designed in Fusion 360 so here you can see again those crazy angles and after some tweaking and testing we made it fit that the wheel folds into the fuselage and that also that the drag brace make it nice um, travel okay let's go Okay guys, I'm really happy how the landing gear turns out. <laughs> brilliant, just brilliant. And um, <clears throat> I know that uh, uh, Formlabs also has a really tough material to print with, but for a draft quality to test it out, which is already strong with the carbon tubes inside, it's good enough for uh, testing. So let's continue uh, building this into the first bulkheads uh, to build that uh, test frame. Again guys, this is a test frame with 2 times 130mm AF. Let me show you one. This 
is a 130 millimeter EDF. This one is for FASA. And this is really massive. This model is two meters long. So let's continue the build. Okay guys, here you have it, a fully assembled <laughs> main gear, look at it. And now the test is, with it folds, it goes super super smooth, wow, 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 it worked. Also the drag brace detail I really love, look at it, Wee! Super happy with this result, and you got also this locking mechanism. So there will be a O-ring and a servo to lock this uh, drag brace. And on the tail part you will get a, let's there will be a servo or a linear actuator from uh, Electron. But it's huge, it's, it's amazing. So the printers are uh, running uh, full time. Even the Bamboo Lab is uh, speeding up with uh, lightweight PLA. And we're going to check out how to fit the Schubler inside of this part. And that will be the last part for today's video. So let's continue. The last part for today's video, I'm going to add the front landing gear with all the wooden bulkheads, so we're going to need to go for more laser cutting. I also designed a midsection, but this is all draft, so yeah, it could be different. So meanwhile, I've been assembling. So we got the 130mm Schubler in place, we got the main landing gears, the midsection part and now we're going to add the front section part so it will stand on the legs at the end of the video so make sure to watch this entire video piece make sure to subscribe and like this video this will really help with the channel so that being said let's continue Okay guys, I really need to start editing these uh, videos and it uh, will be my last shot because I need to bring my kids to bed. But look at it, this is really massive. 
to give you an idea, this is one meter eighty, and these are two one hundred thirty millimeters massive EDFs, good enough for more than twenty kilos of static thrust. Oh, it's going to be epic, guys! Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button if you want to see this build. So to give you an idea how big it is. Then I'm just going to hold it. <laughs> this is one big massive test frame. Oh my dear. And it is functional. I think this is really the biggest. It's going to be the biggest functional hovering vertical takeoff F35B in the world. So we are now working at the F35A, uh, which is a really important project for the Dutch uh, Air Force. Uh, together with friends, Natalie, Mick, Lei, Peter Koers. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, together with these people, we're going to build this big F35B scale as possible. So if some are really, from you are really questioning how still how big it is. So let's measure a wheel. So one wheel is 86. If you look at our um, RC Jetprint F35, one wheel is 45. I'm going to put it side by side to give you an idea. Okay, so there you have the RC Jetprint F35B. <laughs> Look at it. It's going to be massive. So our next steps is to build actually the 3 BSM unit. We're going to use bleed air to guide air into the wing for roll control. We're going to use thrust differential between the front and the back EDF for pitching. And we will tilt the entire uh, duct for um, uh, uh, Z-axle, so jar control. And hopefully we stay around the 10 kilos. So what we need to do is finish up all the plans, the doors, the mechanisms. But first we need to hover it before we can continue our design plan and see how much it can lift. And uh, yeah, it's going to be in high voltage 12S, so four minutes should be reachable for hover. Okay, getting to the point, I need to bring my kids to bed. Thank you all for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that like button. If you have any ideas or thoughts, just leave it in the comment box and uh, I'll see you next time, uh, guys. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>